Ahoy, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Screaming Pirate EDC. Now, you may notice something a little bit different with this setup. There is a microphone here, guys. I am trying to get a little bit better audio for you so you can hear a little bit better on the audio and you can see these beautiful knives. So today, we are taking a look at a knife that I was excited for. A lot of people are singing the praise. I may not be in that category. We're taking a look at the subvert this is the sprint run from Spyderco of the newest subvert. So definitely going to be comparing this to a lot of knives and uh, talk to you about what I like and uh, what I don't on the Spyderco subvert. Ooh, I know you heard that. Now let's go ahead, top down, and take a closer look at the subvert. All right, guys, we are top down with the subvert. As always, stats are on the screen. Let's go ahead and dive into the knife. Now. I said this was a sprint run. The original version of the subvert was Orange G10 and S30D. The sprint run, meaning dealers only got a few of them, but a lot of dealers get it, is carbon fiber. And then I'll see if I can get this to focus up. There you go, it is 20 CV. So this is a large knife, always has been. Uh, very, very big, big, thick uh, titanium liners. Okay, very stocky knife, fits fantastic in a large glove. And in fact, if you look at that little tiny curled area right there, a little indentation, perfect for choking up if you need to. Do not worry about having a grip on this knife. You know, all of it is overall pretty good. I do have some gripes, but wanted you guys to see this knife in all of its glory. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. You can already see them sitting here on the table and I'm just gonna set the subvert right there and just bring them in one by one for you guys. So up first, the one that makes the most sense to me is going to be the Mini Opiate. Now, the Mini Opiate is from Slice FK. This is the V2. These just dropped within last month or two and obviously very different in size, but these are both Natty Amore Black Snow custom designs. So that is next to the Mini Opiate and set him aside. After that, another, I guess, I, I would call it a frame lock. This is more of like a sub frame lock, but frame lock nonetheless. This is the Spidey Chef. There you go, next to a Spidey Chef, absolutely dwarfs it. After that, let's set it next to a knife that is similar in price. These are around 500. This was 420, I believe it was, 425 for the subvert. That's going to be your McNeese three and a half. After that, let me set him up here out of the way. Let me go ahead and grab the venerable Chris Reeve. This is the large Sabenza 21, not 31. This is the 21, okay? After that, this I is the Hinderer XM18. Wanted to go ahead and grab that for you guys and show you next to Hinderer XM18 absolutely dwarfs an xm18 kind of crazy and then finally wanted to show you guys some larger knives and really give you an idea of just how big some of these knives are up top we have the brand new spartan foros and below we have the full size harsey now these are the only two knives oh i'm gonna have to scooch that up a little bit more for you guys these are the only two knives that even come close in size to the subvert. Just wanted you guys to see a nice general size comparison between all of these. So now we have all that out of the way. I'm going to keep some of these on the table as talking points, but I want to go ahead and fold them up so they are out of the way and they are not your main focus. All right, guys. So the subvert. Let's start with the good here. The good is, is I like the knife. The ergonomics are very good. The curvature and the swell i guess you could say on the actual carbon fiber is nice the cut out here is nice for your finger it does feel good in hand i do really like that i really like this little notch right here you can choke up nice and well you have a nice access to the spidey hole here for thumb or middle finger flick does work very very nice and now the pocket easy peasy there is nothing for it to snag on also, because of the carbon fiber, it's actually lighter weight than you think it is. Because of that light weight, it is a little bit easier to carry. It's a large knife that is, I mean, guys, it's basically a pocket sword, but it does carry very well. Now, the bad. The bad on here, 
well, before I get into that sound, the bad on here is I wish there was better chamfering right in here in the spider hole, on, on, on the spidey hole. This knife is over $400. This should not have the same chamfering in here that you get on like a standard pair of three. Like, come on guys. This needs to have a little bit better, you know, finishing, especially on the blade. The spine's not bad, but right here in the hole is still a little bit sharp in my opinion. Um, also the pocket clip is okay. I mean, it's just a modified standard spoon clip. It is a little bit of a hot spot when it is in your hand, if you really bear down, but it's nothing terrible, but it, it just doesn't match the knife. I would have liked to see something a little bit better. Like maybe a milled tie clip would have been nice. They did it on the danger pickle. Wish they would have done it here. Now, finally, I know I'm stealing a little of this from Nick Shabazz, but I don't think he'll mind the ugly, the ugly you've already heard. So let me go ahead and hold this up to the mic so you can hear this. Guys, that's the lock stick on the knife that I have. That's the lock disengaging when I push it this way. That's bad. That's really bad. It only happens if you don't carbonize the interface properly. But I'm going to say this, this knife, guess what? Has an interface, has a stainless steel interface. So, oh, look, beautiful. No lock stick. Now this knife doesn't have an interface. Neither does this knife, nor this knife, but guess what? All the interfaces are carbonized properly. That has an interface. I've never had lock stick issues. I've never had a little bit here, a little bit here. None ever because of proper carbonizing on the lock face. See, nice and smooth whenever you are disengaging. This doesn't have this. I don't know how this passed quality control at Spyderco. I'm actually disappointed. I'll be honest, guys. This is something that I wanted to like. And I like the design. I like Nadia Moore. He's a fantastic human being. He really is. But this knife should have never left Spyderco. I don't know how so many people are singing the praises of this knife because if half of them have the problem I have, not acceptable. Just not acceptable. Yeah. Little bit disappointed with the subvert. Well, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and head back up top. All right, guys. So told you what I don't like about the knife. Did some size comparisons and you saw some specs. Here's my honest opinion right now. For those of you that bought the Subvert and like it, I'm happy for you. I really am. Those of you thinking about it, better be happy with Lockstick. That's all I have to say. With that being said, guys, I think the channel is going to be taking a break from Spyderco. I think Spyderco is going to be on the back burner. Uh, if somebody sends me a Spyderco, I'll look at it but I'm moving on past Spider Co. for the channel, guys. They are just not up to snuff with their quality control. Um, th this is a $420 sprint run. It's not like it's a production knife and this one just got missed. No, th this dealer got like five. I come on. Like, that's this is nuts. At a knife that is one a sprint run and two at this price point out of Spider Co. and they don't normally do a lot of knives like this. Oh, and not to mention, uh, Metal Complex got a Nirvana, and I was talking to him about it. Guess what? Has lock stick. That's a six hundred and forty dollar knife. Just let that sink in. Yes, there is some lock stick that you might get on knives around there, but. I've never had a problem with the stick that hard on a knife in this price point. I'm going to put it that way. I truly think, and this is to you, Spyderco, the Reeve Integral Lock is dead. Move on. Even Chris Reeve has moved on past the Reeve Integral Lock, okay? <laughs> they put a ball bearing there now. You need to do so as well because clearly there's something not working. Yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the, the, uh, the actual, you know, reviews being back hopefully you enjoy the honesty if you do let me know what you think down below uh, and let me know what you think about the subvert with all that being said guys hopefully you're having a good day and i'll catch you on the next one